Hello Capricorn! Thank you very much for tuning in to this week's read for the main part of the read. Tarot Illuminati by Eric C. Dunn. Supportive Oracle Cards are You Are Clairvoyant Oracle Cards by Belinda Grace. Illustrations by Elaine Marsden. Let's, let's go right into this. Let's go right into this. So, if we're going to preemptively just look at this quickly, you hold this together. Capricorn seems to be pretty good at that, though. When, you, when you've decided this is going to be here, that's where it's going to go, then that's where it's going to go. Uh, Capricorn, that seems to be like a strength. Like, if you've decided we're not going to change how this is going, then we're not going to change how this is going, <laughs> and that's it. Um, as we go into this situation, though, I do want to be fair because it's not like you're just being stubborn. So I don't want it to seem like that because I'm seeing this is how it started off. There's like a base to this. Like where this started off, when this started coming together, when you started putting together the base plan, the blueprint, if you will, or you, like if you're doing a house analogy, when you started digging the basement or laying the slab for the foundation, you did give in a little bit. You had the Seven of Swords, with, but it was backed up by the Ten of Pentacles, which is hard to see here for some reason. So in the very beginning, when things were being decided, how are we going to do this? What are we going to do? How do we want to put this together? You did give in a little bit, but that was like, well, that was in the beginning. That was deciding what we were going to do. You were willing to negotiate to start it off. But there's a difference between when you're starting off and when you're halfway down the road saying, well, we're halfway to Albuquerque, let's go to Moscow. And you're just like, what? <laughs> like, we're, what? We're halfway to Albuquerque, but now you want to go to Moscow? What are you talking about? Like, it's kind of like in the very beginning, like if you wanted to vacation in Mos Moscow, I don't know why I'm using that, but if that was it, okay. But not after we've gone halfway down the road or halfway to, you know, Milwaukee or wherever I was saying before. Like, no, I'm not going to change. When we've made half this progress, we've put half this effort in, and now you want to change? No, I don't think so. I didn't put in all this effort just to throw it away and go a different direction. And, like, to your credit, like, that makes complete sense. Um, we did In the beginning, before we set off, okay, I'm willing to negotiate. Once we choose our path, though, we need to stick to it because I'm not putting in this effort just to throw it away. So that's what I got in the beginning. And you're very, you were very willing to give in on some things. It created a strong foundation with your um, Ten of Pentacles here, over here, if I can touch it correctly. You gave in on a lot of things in the very beginning because it was the time to negotiate. And then when it was all settled, okay, I got enough of what I want. You got enough of what you want. I'm comfortable with how we're doing this. We made a plan to make this happen. Okay, decisions were made. In the beginning, it's again, I keep getting this over and over. Yes, in the beginning, we can be very negotiable. Uh, the, the Capricorn energy can be very negotiable. It makes sense. But listen, I'm not going halfway there and then deciding to change things after it. No, I don't put an effort just to throw it away. So this is like the – we're making a big point on this, obviously, for some reason. Um, in the environment – there's a little bit of unstableness here. There's something with a half-developed idea, other needs coming forward later, things not being looked at as in-depth as they should have been, um, which I'm already feeling that immediate annoyance, kind of like, well, that's not my fault. Just because somebody else didn't put in the correct amount of research or look at their circumstances to make a decision, that is not my fault. I did. I did what I was supposed to do, and that's how I built the plan. And I'm getting the Capricorn energy that I'm feeling is kind of like, just because somebody else is negligent doesn't mean I'm going to suffer for it. No, that's on them. If they suffer for it, well, that's their fault because they didn't do their due diligence. They were supposed to look into it, and that's their fault. 
And then if they get some repercussions for it, I'm not going to feel bad about it because I did my work. I did my research. Um, because you're putting together a plan and you're putting together these possibilities and you're building a successful plan based on what was agreed on. And that makes complete sense. Complete sense. Like, I don't even feel like, like, who can really argue with that? If you put it in those, in those terms, I don't see how somebody could really argue with that. But, you know, we'll see. Hold on. <laughs> so in the environment, self-acceptance, deciding what they really want, going along with a plan versus what somebody really wants. So somebody's deciding later that, you know, maybe they agreed to something that they didn't really want to agree to. Past lives, the reason they did that, Past lives sometimes comes in in a different way for me. Sometimes it talks about people being tied into their own emotional patterns or feeling like, you know, the way they've gone about life is they agree or handle things a certain way. And then later on when they think about it, like the way I've been living life isn't correct. It's kind of like when you're used to giving into authority because you, you grew up being taught that's how you're supposed to do it. Then later you're like, well, maybe that wasn't the right way for me to do that. Maybe I was too intimidated. Choices, like... I don't like this. This energy in the environment is kind of like, well, I made a choice now, but I can always change my mind later. When you're the only person in that boat, yeah, I guess that's okay. When there's you and five other people, and five, and you, you know, and six people all together have to decide on a course, you get halfway to a halfway to a destination. You can't just decide. Well, now that we're halfway here, I want to change my mind. Sorry, you're in the boat with everybody else. So you do have the right to change your mind, but you don't have the right to, to change everybody else's mind with you. That becomes a thing. This is in the environment, though. This is, what you're, this is what's going on around you that's coming towards you. Nature, journey, health, and goddess. I feel like this is one of those situations where whatever this person is, this is going to come up later, depending on where you are in this situation. They're going to realize that they made their decision. They didn't speak up when they were supposed to or needed to. So they're subject to the outcome. Um, health, war, is that warrior? No, health, nature, journey, and the goddess. Warrior's coming up later for you. Um, this is going to be a lesson for this person, or people, if it's more than one. If, they, if you fail to do the work, you fail to do the research in the beginning, if, if, you, if you just feel like, I'll, I'll deal with it later and change my mind later and that's going to be okay. In this situation, you're not going to let that happen is what I'm getting. And this might be a learning thing for them that they need to learn that lesson. Like, again, if there's six people in a boat, you know, them and five others, they can't just get halfway to the destination and be like, you know what, I have the right to change my mind and I'm changing my mind now. No, not when you're on the same boat together and you're going towards the same destination. No, that's not going to be acceptable. No, um, because I'm getting like somebody is halfway halfway to the goal, halfway to the goal line. Somebody's coming forward like they've been thinking about it for a while and they've decided, you know, what? now that we're halfway there, I don't think this is where I really want to go. I don't think this is really for me. And there's some conflict in the environment, but it's interesting how it's coming through because it's the way the cards are laying down is how I'm noticing it. There's success and there's the Empress, uh, the, the Six of Wands is the success. The Empress is coming in with this and then you got the um, Princess of Wands in the background. This person, or I feel like it's just one person, is coming forward like, no, I've decided, like I've been thinking about this. This isn't really the, way, the, the destination that I want. I don't think it's right for me. I want to go a different direction. And other people are like, coming in on this and being like, well, it's a little too late. You're going to have to ride this one out. You're on the roller coaster. You can't get through the halfway through the first loop and be like, I want to get out. Sorry, you're going to have to wait till this ride is over. Um, other people are pushing this forward. Other people are making sure this keeps going. You're aware of this. You do like this person, ironically. Because uh, so, the way the energy is adding in, I'm like, do you? Yeah, I do feel like you like this energy. You like this person. Uh, they're respectable, they're trustful, they tell. They do tell the truth. Um, whatever this energy is where they're deciding later on, like, you know what, I don't think that was the best decision for me. You understand it, you're just not going to go with it. You're ignoring it because this. even though you like this energy, that does push your buttons. Kind of like, no, we don't put in this much effort just to change our mind and throw it away. 
not going to do that, did not get involved this way to do that. No, I don't invest my time just to throw it away. I'm not going to do that. It's really, it's getting under my nerves, like under my nerves. It's getting on my nerves. It's kind of like, it's okay that you don't want to do this next time around, but we're too far down the road for you to be changing your mind now. And that's what's kind of annoying me. Now, the situation does keep going forward. I, for a lot of you, I feel like it's after the situation is over is what we're talking about. This is what they're leading you to. Because while it's going, you're just looking the other way and pretending it's fine and you're just not... Because you're going to continue on. Like, that's not a negotiation. You're continuing on to the goal. While you're en route, you're concentrating on what you need to get done. You're not about... We don't need to be having conversations about that right now. But there will be a point when you're like, listen, we need to talk about this changing our mind halfway to the goal thing. We need to talk about this changing our mind halfway to the destination thing. Um, we need to talk about that. You have the King of Swords energy with the Four of Pentacles. Like You're coming forward and you're like, we need to sort out what you're doing. Because this is going to define whether we should really be working together or if you need to be working with somebody else. Um, and it doesn't have to be literally work-related, but whatever the project was, you might be like having that very intense conversation. I don't feel like there's yelling. I just feel like you're annoyed. And you're just kind of like, before we end up go working on something else and you do this again, let's let's just see what, what's going on in your head. Because let's dissect why you thought that was going to even happen, let alone bringing it forward at that point. We need to talk about this. Um, you're bringing that conversation forward because you're like, listen, we got through this situation, but now that that's over, I don't do repeats like that. I don't do that. Um, Six of Pentacles with the Justice card. You might find out some stuff that you were not aware of. It's informational at this point. Um, the justice coming forward is going to be like, whatever the problem was or the reason was behind this, you're finding out the truth. I get that with the justice card. The six of pentacles is like, you do like this energy. So I feel like you're talking to this person and you're like, all right, I understand. It makes sense why you felt that way but you're also driving it home very very in a very strong sense like that was not an option at that point we're not getting halfway down the road and changing our mind we're not getting halfway to the destination and going let's change let's change the whole situation like instead of going to albuquerque let's go to moscow like we're not going to get halfway to our destination and make a big change like that it's not going to happen if you have issues or concerns in the beginning, you can bring those to me. Per I'm almost feeling like you're telling this person. If we if we work together again, because this might be also another thing, you might be deciding if that's going to happen or not. If we do, you can bring those to me personally, and we can have a private conversation about it, because I need to know where you stand. I'm not about creating these plans and then somebody saying they're going to jump ship. So... You can come to me personally. We can hash these things out. And if it's a big problem, we can deal with it then. If you're uncomfortable with other people, you can come to me personally because I don't want these pop-up problems. So you're working it out with this person. Um, that's going to be a good conversation. And I feel like if you feel that that might be the thing, that might be the kicker with this. This is a very positive conversation. It's a very good conversation. Um, if you have enough time before you get to it, because I feel like a lot of you are going to come to this situation when you're in the middle of it and you're still working on it and you're aware that somebody's trying to change direction and you don't like it, but you're kind of looking the other way because you're like, that's not an option and I'm not going to pretend that it is. If you keep it in the back of your head that like when that conversation comes after this is done and that's going to be a positive conversation... I feel like that really empowers you to make the most out of it to where it doesn't have to stress you because if what I'm naturally getting happens is it's very stressful for you and you're not happy that this even popped up. If you kind of look at it like you're going to have this conversation later and you're going to find out what the deal was and 
you're going to have a plan that will keep this from being a problem later. Like it will easily come forward. The other side will work with you on this. They will understand like why you are not okay with that and how that needs to come out into a different outcome. If you just see it in the positive, like this energy will work for you. It will understand like, okay, yeah, I understand halfway there, not acceptable, changing direction. I understand. And then you give them that like, well, if you need to have private conversations to hash this out, we can do that so that I can understand where you are, that's going to be a positive thing. And I feel like that's what we're trying to get out of this. Like that conversation at the end is a very good thing. And it's going to be a very positive thing. I think we're there. All right. I'm going to shut this down here. I hope that helps. Thank you for watching. If you need a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's james, the number four, astral at gmail.com. Thank you.